Okay, in the last tutorial, um, we created a bullet variable. And if I just play this game now, you can see the bullets are set to 10. And when I press the space button, the bullets go down. If I press the R button, it'll reload only if this bullet variable is under a certain amount. Like we've done it where one. If I press the R button now, it goes back up to 10. We still move around and you shoot pretty much anything we want. But then when we when the bullet goes to zero, we're out. We can't fire anymore. Uh, and then you've got to press the R button to reload. So what we are going to do with this one is we're going to get the um, reloading done automatically for us. So I won't have to press the R button. And what we're going to basically have is an alarm which is going to run. And then the alarm will sort of after two seconds reload for us. So let's have a look at how we do that. Now currently I have our reloading done when we press the R button on the keyboard. So I, I don't need that anymore. So I'm gonna right click and go to delete event. And our space key is the one we're actually using to fire um, and create the bullet. So what we want really is a check uh, within this. So to say essentially when we go, if the variable is greater than or equal to one, then we can make the bullet fire. But we're going to add in another check then, and we're going to say if the bullet is equal to zero, then what we need to do is we are going to run an alarm. Now, the alarm I'm going to set currently at two seconds. And essentially, if you recall, when we've used alarms in the past, remember, a game maker uses frames per second for the alarm. So every 60 frames is one second. So 120 seconds is going to be so 120 frames is going to be two seconds. So this is looking for alarm zero. So let's create alarm zero. If I click on add event and then go down to alarm and then go to alarm zero. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to set the bullets variable back to 10. Okay, so what should happen now is when our bullets go down to zero, after two seconds, it should go back up to 10. So let's try that out. So. Let's get rid of all the bullets. So I'm on zero. There we are. Automatically, without pressing anything now, it's gone back up to 10, which is good. Now, if you wanted to set a longer delay, so instead of two seconds, let's say if I go back into the space, if we wanted to, say, have it four seconds, all you do then change that to 240. That means then, as soon as a bullet variable hits zero, we'll have a four second delay and then it'll activate alarm zero, which then in turn runs that code and everything works really, really, really well. There's no way we can manually do it because we've taken out the R key. So this is all automated now bullets.